Yes. As the sun was going down. This whole week has been stellar for good sunset pictures. So thank you, Mike, for submitting your picture of Goal Rock. Famous rock. Some of you may have seen it before, run into it a few times. Gorgeous picture. So thank you again. If you have any weather pictures, by the way, uh, that you'd like to submit, send them over to us and we'll be sure to get them on air. Uh, this weekend you'll have uh, Joseph Dames on and he loves weather pictures, especially sunset pictures. Okay, over to Seaside right now, it's 42 degrees. A few high level clouds starting to stream in and that's going to help moderate our temperature. So this morning, some of you woke up to temperatures below freezing. This time around, we're going to change it up a little bit. Something else that we're changing up are those waves, bigger waves on the way. And whenever we see long period swells building as we're going to see over this weekend, uh, of course, we want to keep in mind uh, sneaker waves, those waves that aren't coming in in regular sets. It's like every seventh one or maybe every 15th one comes up along the shore much higher than you'd expect. So keep that in mind. And wave heights by the time we get to Sunday could range anywhere from about 20 to 25 feet. Uh, biggest ones, though, just off the Washington coast, closer to about 30 feet. Current temperatures here. Look at this. We're holding on to the low 40s up and down the valley with the, just a touch of cloud cover helping us out. Hood River, though, clear, 33 degrees. Over to the coast, we're at 41 Cannon Beach. Planner for tomorrow, it is going to be mostly cloudy. You'll have little breaks for sunshine, but temperatures will be in the low 50s for you, right around Portland, Vancouver, down to Salem. And then the rain arrives tomorrow night. You'll see it first, of course, at the coast tomorrow. Very light amounts of rain. And then in comes the next front. It'll bring with it some pretty strong winds out of the southwest, 25 to 30 miles per hour. Rain and yes, mountain snow right now. Mountain Meadows at 38 degrees. By the time we roll into Sunday, snow levels dropping down to those mountain passes and even as low as about 2000 feet. By the time we get to Sunday night and early Monday morning, that fronts out of here. The coldest air will be left over. And then what will you have to show for snow? Anywhere from about three to six inches possible for you right around government camp. You're a little bit higher and we could be looking at maybe six, seven inches for some of your local ski resorts. How about that rain, though? You'll start to see some of it uh, show up along the coast tomorrow afternoon and then eventually spread inland as we roll into Sunday morning and pretty much the whole day Sunday. We'll get a break from that wet weather by the time we get to Monday afternoon. So how about that seven day forecast tomorrow? 54 Sunday 50 and then turn your eyes to the edge of your screen. Low 60s <laughs> next week. 62. <laughs>